number three, your mood creates your fortune. It's not your fortune that creates your mood. My friends, this simple understanding is so powerful when it comes to your psychology, vibration, your attraction, and magic. Oftentimes we live as a, re as a reaction, as an effect of the circumstances in the world. Circumstances happen and our internal state is shifted. We are living in the effects of life. The magician is seeking to be at the cause of life, to be the creator of his reality. To do that, my friends, we must reorient and not be reactive to situations, right? But realize what we have control or power over. The hermeticist knows he has the power to influence his own state. And through the influencing of one's own state, you can affect change in reality and influence other people, right? When it comes to influencing our own state, there's so many ways to go about it. You can go into state control and we'll get into this. But in this video, I want us to focus on something very simple. And that is, what do you want? <laughs> What's your desire? What would make you happy right now, fulfilled right now? Is it a state of being? Is it a creative project you wish you could engage in? You know, is it some kind of thing? Assume, assume the attitude as if that already happened. Assume the attitude, assume the mood as if the thing you want already happened. You see, my friends, we go about things all wrong. For instance, trying to make a video. A lot of people, when they show up to make a video, I work with people like this, you know, they're trying to force it. They're thinking their way through it. They're facing resistance. You know, it is something that it's an effort. Well, magically, to magically do it in one way of doing that, you know, is to create the vibration where making the video is effortless. Create the vibration in yourself where picking up the pen and paper is effortless. Create the vibration in yourself where doing the thing that you want to do is effortless. For me, I use that magic all the time. All the time. I'm not so focused on getting things. I'm more focused on creating a vibration and engaging with the process because I know fruits will be bared. You know, fruits will be born of that process. So for me, it's like, you know, can I assume the mood where a video effortlessly flows out of me? Can I assume the mood as if that video already happened? I'm already in that flow state, right? I'm going to give you an example of how this affected my life and psychology. And here's the thing, my friends, is your attitude, your attitude is reflected by everyone you talk to, right? If you enter a, a social situation with a down mood, that's what you will get back to you. But if you enter a situation with an enthusiastic attitude, an engaging one, an open attitude, People and opportunities will open up to you, okay? So how do we create that attitude? The other day, I smashed my phone hiking, smashed the screen. Couldn't use the screen at all, and I had a whole bunch of calls and things to do the next day. So I'm sitting there, you know, and I called the people to fix the phone. And they said they couldn't get to it for another week. And it was to be $200 to just send it in and get a new one the next day. And it's like, I don't want to do that. Right, So my phone is just useless and it's creating a lot of problems from that day. I'm kind of down. I'm just like, fuck, I'm frustrated, right? And then all of a sudden, I get a call and I can only use the bottom little bit of my phone to answer a call, right? And it's the guy who's like, you know what, I can fit you in right now and I can fix your screen in the next hour. And all of a sudden, I was stoked. <laughs> I was just like, wow, life just opens up to me, you know? Like there's so much opportunity out here. My entire frame of reference and perspective of the day shifted. And from that, you know, I realized like, wow, I have the power to create my own state of being, my own internal vibration, and the world will reflect to me that, you know? So from there, it was so easy to create a video. I was feeling in, connect, in connection with life, in the vibration of gratitude, right? And from that state, making videos and getting on coaching calls was so effortless. And I had found myself having fun, finding myself engaged through it. Here's the thing, though. I could have created that state without the actual situation coming up where my phone got fixed. I could have assumed that that already happened. 
that my phone is getting fixed in an hour. And assume that and feel the, the joy from that. Feel the state change as a result of that assumption in your mind, right? And here's the thing, like I said, reality is constantly reflecting to us our internal state of vibration, always. I entered the forest the other day and I had a courageous mood like dwelling inside of me. You know, fire rising up. Like I wanted to go climb shit, conquer shit. I had the most awesome time in the forest. Like the warrior rose up inside of me. You know, I got deep and meditated. I connected with that subtle awareness of everything, all the life permeating. Just days before, I felt so disconnected from the forest. And I was going in there and everything just kind of seemed bleak to me. You know, and everything was just mundane and drab. There's nothing inspiring, right? And it's because that was my internal mood. What, I, what we need to do, my friends, is recognize this mood and realize that we have the power to influence that state. We don't always need to wield that power. You know, going into the darkness, feeling what is, is important. But at the same time, when it comes to influencing our reality, we must understand that we can't control what happens in the reality necessarily. We're a co-creator of that. But things happen in life. What matters is how you face it. Which vibration do you choose? Which attitude are you choosing to bear that burden with? Here's the thing, my friends. Misfortune, right? Misfortune carried well or well bared is good fortune. If you bear your misfortune worthily, right? And you can get past the circumstances and don't live at the effects, but live at the cause. Misfortunes happening, right? We stand up with strength. We stand up with, you know what? I'm going to get through this. We stand up with faith. We stand up with the good things, the blessings that are coming down the road. And this is a lesson. This is actually a blessing in disguise that we can't yet see. If we can meet our misfortune like that, we will not live at the effects where all of a sudden misfortune creates a negative attitude, which creates negative experiences and circumstances into the future. But instead, we're living at the cause. Now, in application, my friends, leaving you with, I want you to look at your life right now and see like what you want. A lot of the times, desire gets a bad rap in spirituality. But I think desire, especially divine desire, it's coming from deep within, is really important. It's your compass and guide for the growth of your character. What do you want? <laughs> what do you need? My friends, power is the capacity to fulfill your wants and needs, to move. Without power, we're, we're stagnant. We're low energy. Realize your power. Realize your power to influence yourself, to do anything, to transcend any obstacle. Right? This is what magic is all about. So looking at your life right now, what do you want? What do you need? Something came through. If an internal state was created, right? Something happened that would make you feel, you know, connected, good, fulfilled in your highest well-being. Assume that that already happened and live your life. When your attitude shifts, your entire relationship to your, your reality changes. When I wake up with that, with that rare attitude sometimes I wake up with, where life is just like very mystical and mysterious and I'm curious about it and it seems open and there's many things to do many opportunities to go take advantage of you know when I wake up with that attitude so much happens when I wake up with the attitude of strength you know to go live my strongest life and live into that now so much beauty unfolds which attitude are you choosing and furthermore if you must do something if you must attract something do not think in terms of task first. Think in terms of feeling which leads the way. Which feeling are you creating in your, in your being, right? That will lead to an effortless result. That will lead to an effortless action. Create the feeling first. This goes a little bit into state control and psychology. We hit on the psychology note. State control is like move your body. Get into a, hot, like a vibrational state where you're ready to express yourself, like for me on this video, you know? It's psychology and physiology combined that allows the alchemist to really powerfully influence his state, to fully engage with what he wants to do, to attract into his reality the opportunities 
and resources he needs. My friends, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Share this video and drop a comment below if you're liking the series on magic and how to apply magic. If you guys want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I love working with aspiring creators, leaders, coaches, and healers. You can apply for a free consultation, link in the description below, and we will accelerate into sovereignty together. Thanks for being here, my friends. Peace and blessings be with you, and may your mood create your fortune.